بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیکچر نمبر سیون پارٹ نمبر ون آپ لیکچر نمبر سیون دس از یونٹ نمبر ٹو ٹائٹل آف دی یونٹ نمبر ٹو از میٹرس از اینڈ ڈٹرمیننٹ دی ٹاپک آف دس ویڈیو لیکچر از ڈٹرمیننٹ سو فسٹ آف آل وی ول ایکسپلین دیٹ ڈٹرمیننٹ از اے ٹائپ آف فنکشن ان وچ ایچ اسکوائر میٹرکس is associated with a unique number the number may be real or complex so from this we conclude that determinant is a type of function so first of all we will explain that point determinant determinant is a type of function in which each square matrix each square matrix is attached or you can say each square matrix is associated with a unique number each square matrix is associated with a unique number the number may be real or complex so determinant is a type of function in which each square matrix is associated with a unique number now you see that it is such type of function in which each square matrix is associated with some number the number may be real or complex so you from this remember that determinant is only defined for square matrices you can only take the determinants of a square matrix this is an important point if a matrix is not a square matrix then you cannot find out its determinant determinant is only uh, defined for square matrices now it is a type of function if it is a type of function so first of all we briefly revise the idea of a function and then we discuss that how determinant is a function how we may think that fun uh, determinant is like a function so first of all i briefly explain the idea of a function let's say if we have a function is actually a technique or you can say that function is like a machine in which for each input there must be a unique output function the formal definition of a function is function is a technique or you can say it's a machine in which for each input we have a unique output for each input we have a unique output so the input is called domain of the function and the output the unique output is called the range of the function let's say this is a set for example let's say this is a set a and let's say this is a set b and let's say this set a contain um, natural number 1 2 3 and the set b contain 1 4 9 i am assigning uh, i am 
make a correspondence between these number let's say let's say th there is a function there is a technique f the notation for the function usually use small f so now this is a function so this is a function in which you put one let's say you get one in the range if you put two here you will get four for example and if you put three in this machine you will get nine this is a function f of x is equal to x square so you clearly see that if i put one i will get one if i put two i will get four and when i put three i will get nine so you see that with each input a unique output is associated for each input you see that you have a unique output so such a technique such a machine is said to be a function in which for each input you must have a unique output now uh, let's say if i write uh, if i take another example of the function so in this case this set a which are the inputs of these functions are called the domain and this set b is called codomain and the outputs we gets when the inputs are substituted are the inputs uh, are you, which is the domain when the domain is put in the function so these are called range so in this case the range and the set b is equal so such type of functions are called onto function and in this case you clearly see that each output is associated with a single input you clearly see that so this is also a one one function so when a function is one one and on two so that function is called bijective and inverse of bijective function is always exist so this is the brief area of a function that function is a technique in which each input is associated with a unique output for each input we have a unique output so uh, now moving towards the determinant or topic is determinant so i am not explaining function more switch to the determinant determinant is also a type of function in which each square matrix now the square matrices are your inputs here you see that these are your inputs so in case of the determinant when you are discussing the determinant is a type of function so your inputs must be from the set of matrices so let's say let's say m is a set which contain all the square matrices let's say m is the set of square matrices set of square matrices k let's say uh, and you see that when you put a number in a function so it acts like a machine it gives you some output on the input but the outputs must be unique for example if you think of a function let's say function is the uh, engine of a car so when you put i so on that oil you called some distance so the oil is your input and the distance called of the of the car on that oil is your output but in that case the output may be different mean let's say for example when i put one uh, liter uh, oil uh, in the engine of a car and car runs 1 km on one uh, liter oil and it is also possible that another car or in that the same car may run uh, 1.5 km on 1 liter oil so you see that for 1 liter oil the distances are two it may be more than two so the outputs are not unique but when you we are discussing a function in mathematics 
so function is such type of machine in which each on each input you must give a unique output you must give a unique output so you see that these are the unique outputs which you get on these inputs so let's say m is a square matrices a set of square matrices and capital k this is a capital k this is a set of numbers set of numbers set of numbers the numbers may be real or complex so let's say f is your function now this f is in this case this is determinant determinant now f must be from m because f takes inputs from the set of square matrices so you see that actually n inputs in inputs the sets are from the the, the the matrices must be from the set of square matrices so you see that m contain the set of square matrices so that's why this f must be on f and goes into k mean when this function when this machine you see that this is like a machine when this machine this is a like a machine when you put a matrix this is the input of this machine when you put a square matrix from this set the set of square matrices so uh, when that fun that machine operates on that square matrix so in a result you will get a number it may be real or complex so you see that they, 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 that's why we say that determinant is a machine you think uh, from class 9th and class 10 you know that when uh, you take the determinant of a square matrix so you get a number every square matrix has a determinant mean every square matrix when you find out its determinant you get a number so you can associate every square matrix with some number the number may be real the number may be complex but now we are discussing such matrices in which the entries are the elements are real number so here in this chapter uh, if we find out the determinant you will get a real number so you see that every number is associated every matrix has some uh, number which is the determinant of that matrix so that's how we says that mat square matrices are associated with unique numbers uh, also remember uh, if you find out the determinant of a matrix that must be unique if you find out the determinant of a matrix and you get let's say you get one so if you take the determinant of that same matrix 10 times so each time you will get that one determinants are unique so you see that this is like a machine so in this set we have square matrices so these are your inputs inputs must be from set n uh, set m and the outputs when this function when this machine operate on the element of this set the element of this set is square matrix so let's say a is a square matrix a is a square matrix so when i plug this is the input for this machine because this inputs operate on the set which is the set of the square matrices you see that f from m to k and so when this function this machine operates on this square matrix so you will get a number this m is from the set of square matrices this is belongs to and this small k must be from the capital k capital k is the set of number so this number may be real or complex but for each remember for each input mean for each element of the set m so now the elements of the set m are square matrices so for each square matrix this function gives us a unique number from the set of numbers 
नंबर में भी रेल आर कंप्लेक्स सो फॉर ईच इनपुट यू मस्ट हैव अ यूनिक आउटपुट सो देन वी से दैट दिस एफ ऑफ ए इज अ डिटर्मिनेंट दिस एफ ऑफ ए दिस इज द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए विच गेवस अ यूनिक विच गेवस अ यूनिक नंबर के एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम द सेट ऑफ स्क्वेयर मैट्रिस सो यू सी दैट दैट्स वाई वी से दैट डिटर्मिनेंट इज अ टाइप ऑफ फंक्शन दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट डिटर्मिनेंट इज अ टाइप ऑफ फंक्शन नाउ इन मैथमेटिक्स रिमेंबर नोटेशन इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट इफ यू नो द नोटेशन देन यू कैन uh study that topic easily so this is one of the notation for the determinant of a fun uh, for the determinant because determinant is act like a function so i explain that small f is used for the representation of a function but in this case you see that real numbers are the inputs and outputs is also real numbers but in this case for the case of determinant determinant is such type of machine such type of function in which the inputs from the set of square matrices and the outputs is numbers so numbers may be real or complex so it is such type of machine in which the inputs must be from the square matrices and output must be from the set of numbers numbers may be complex numbers may be real so it means that a square matrix is associated with a unique number so it means that the determinant of a matrix is equal to some number but if the matrix is square matrix because determinants are only defined for square matrices now i am talking about the uh, notation so this is one of the notation when you talk about the determinant uh, in view a function now determinant of matrix a if a is a square matrix so determinant is defined this is also denoted by this absolute sign but remember this a absolute is read as determinant of a not modulus of a in chapter number 1 when you take the absolute of a z complex number so that is read as modulus or the absolute or the magnitude of that complex number but now in this chapter the absolute of a is actually used for the determinant of matrix a so this is another notation for the determinant you can also denote determinant of a by det of a remember this is not the product of det with a also this is not the product of f with a this is a notation for the function this is also notation for a determinant of a square matrix a and you can also denote the determinant of a square matrix by this delta these are the different notations some books use delta for the determinant notation some use det of a some use f of a and some use a determinant so you must know all these notation we will use these two notations we will use this notation and this notation while finding the determinants of square matrices so from this we conclude that function is a type of uh, determinant is a type of function in which each square matrix is associated with a unique number the number may be real or complex remember that mat determinant is only defined for square matrices so this is the idea behind the uh, determinant is a type of function inshallah in coming video we will uh, find out different methods to uh, we will define determinant that how determinant will be defined if a matrix is given so how we can find its determinant so the methods will be discussed in next video lectures but this is the basic concept of a determinant that determinant is a type of function thank you